one third of all women will need a hysterectomy in their lifetime. And fortunately, we do not have to use the old fashioned method, which is the big abdominal incision. Women have options now. We can do this with three little tiny incisions. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. One is either with the robot or without the robot. Almost all women are candidates for minimally invasive hysterectomy. It includes a wide range of gynecologic conditions, including pain, bleeding, fibroids, endometriosis, and we can even remove very large uteruses uh, with minimally invasive surgery. You'll be put to sleep for this procedure, and it will take approximately one and a half to two and a half hours. And then during that time, we'll be making three little incisions. Uh, the first incision will be for the camera, so we can see very well inside. Then we have two other incisions that we use for our instruments so that we can operate and maneuver. Then once our, the tissue is separated, then we remove it from below. Well, the benefits are that during surgery, we can actually see better and move better, which allows us to form a better operation, which results in less blood loss, less chance for infection. And then afterwards, you'll have less pain because you have three little incisions versus a big abdominal incision. These things allow us to let you go home the next day. And then as opposed to having a very long recovery period, such as the traditional six to eight weeks, you can be back to doing what you normally are doing in two to four weeks. Even though we're performing these hysterectomies minimally invasive, there's still risks, just as there are to any procedure, such as bleeding, infection, damage to nearby structures, such as bowel, bladder, ureters. However, using the minimally invasive approach, we can decrease those risks.